We're good. All right. Morning. Good morning, guys. Thirty seconds. Actually, thirty-eight. Come on. Morning, Carrie. Morning, Patty. And a Louie. He was above you. Morning, Cheryl. Sunny. Bill. Morning, Anthony. Hi, Ace. Jen's Hi, here. She's in the other room. She's on her way. Morning. Sarah, she's probably still trying to get in the parking lot. She probably is. I'm telling you. It took me but I was, times. I told Jim when I came in, I was like, wait, you can't turn right here either? Like, what do you... No. What do you... You are cutting? screwed out there. Like, it took me three chances. With a parachute tomorrow. playing with the damn things in the front, the barriers. <laughs> we have to pull into their parking lot next door and jump the fence well, and come over. Else. Vehicles out here should be parked over there. That's the lot for that. All right, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on Z93 and Outlaw Country radio stations. You can always stream the show at monstermediayuma.com or watch us on Facebook Live. Yes, we want to say good morning to all of our Facebook Live viewers so far. I see Laura is on. Good morning, Laura, Ace, Anthony, Patty, Bill, Sunny, Carrie, Cheryl. Um, and I believe that's all I got on my list. I'm sure you have a lot more. Supervisor Darren Simmons just popped in too. <laughs> well, good morning to all of you. If you do not currently follow us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's just a way to get a behind the scenes of what goes on when Z93, Outlaw Country, and MonsterMediaYuma.com all go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the whole entire hour. And I saw that Darren participated in a 5K at YPG yesterday. It was a 9-11 memorial. Uh -huh. Again, there were many events taking place around the community yesterday. It's the 17th anniversary of those horrendous terrorist attacks that yeah. took place back in 2001. So I, I love seeing the photos and the video of our local firefighters. They made the run across town. It was just, just a very emotional So there, there was a group that uh, made the run across town, um, but then there was also um, quite a few firefighters that actually uh, climbed their three-story um, building that they have for training right. uh, multiple times to e make it equivalent to climbing the stairs of the World Trade Centers and things. So there was lots of things going on yesterday and it was really awesome to see. It was a busy, busy day. We had a fire later on in the evening, not too far down here off Avenue B, and it was, I believe, a, a manufactured home with some uh, some add-ons mm -hmm. and vehicles and real metro sets all were a total loss. The smoke mm. could be seen from miles away. Oh, wow. I had so many inquiries. People were sending shots of the, the photos that they captured, so uh, they were able to get, get that out, but again, a total loss for the property owners in that area. So but sad. again, thank you to our first responders for getting out there. All right, we have a very busy show today. We're going to kick things off in just a minute with Sarah Wisdom from the Yuma County Library District. And we also have some folks from the Yuma County Health Department, Miriam and Rachel. It's flu time. It is flu time. And then Sunset Community Health Center will be stopping by to talk about some up upcoming events that they have. But right off the bat, we're going to open up the text contest line because we have more circus tickets to give away. We do. We do. We have a family pack, and it is good for two adults and three children. A $78 value to the Shrine Circus that is coming up next Tuesday at the fairgrounds. Showtime under the big top is 7.30 p.m. And all you need to do to enter is text the keyword circus, C-I-R-C-U-S, to 928-343-0993. You have until noon, and we're going to pick three lucky winners. Each will win a family pass to get them into the circus. That's fantastic. Please, we want to encourage you to be responsible. Text responsibly when you do text. You know, wait until you get to your destination. That's why we give you plenty of time. All right. 
Let's go ahead and turn Sarah's microphone on there. We are we're having you in early today. I, <laughs> I know she's a little shocked. Yeah, no, you're, you're uh, looks like you're a little frazzled because you were trying to figure out how to get in the parking lot, weren't you? Yes, See? I was. So I always early. I went up and down <laughs> Avenue. B, but there's got to be business <laughs> access. Me too. Me too. I'm telling you, I work here and I did uh, two different U turns to get into the parking I, lot. I did the courtesy so, text of the lady saying we'd been pulling in on Claxton because our entrance to the station has yes. been blocked off. So we have a pull on to Claxton. That is closed, but they have a no left turn, but it's immediately at, immediately after our turn, so people think you can't turn here. Yeah. So I looped around on 8th Street onto George Bell Avenue, came in, it was closed, Claxton was closed at the other end, Jeez. and I just stopped, I rolled my window down, there was a form in there, I said, I go on air in seven minutes. Right? I, I said, I there is no today. entry. He, he moved the cones and let me slide that on by there. That was nice. But I let the ladies know, I said, okay, be prepared. So just... Just to know, if you're traveling down Avenue B, <laughs> if you're coming here to pick up a prize, or perhaps you're one of our wonderful guests this morning, yes. you can turn right into the station off of Avenue B if you're headed northbound. Don't be confused with the sign that says don't turn right, because you yeah. can turn right into our parking lot. Watch, watch out for the heavy machinery, because yes. that's why Teresa could not get in the first time. <laughs> right. They were moving things around, and I, 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 follow, I was glad that I had Jen's um, heads up, because I was aware. I ended up having to go to 8th Street, turn around into the Walmart parking lot, go back around, could not turn left, so went <laughs> back to 12th Street, turned around again, and I called Jenna and said, Is, can I turn there? Yes. She said, yes, turn there. So it was I, I took a similar detour. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's for good. I believe they're replacing some antiquated sewer lines and, and pipes that run below Avenue B, and for safety reasons, you do have to keep things blocked off. Yes. yes. But um, again, a few, give yourself a little extra time. <laughs> yes. Makes for an adventure. <laughs> All right. Well, Sarah, we're happy to have you here with us this morning, and we see that one of the events coming up on the 15th is a celebration for Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes, that's right. We have things going on at several of our libraries, but I I wanted to put a spotlight on a few items that the Welton Library has planned. They really went all out this year and planned lots of events. On Saturday the 15th, starting at 1 p.m., they will have a family movie showing of the movie Coco. Love so, that I movie. do, too. I love it, too. So they'll be showing that at 1 p.m. You can bring your family and enjoy a, a viewing of Coco. And then at 3 o'clock on the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th, they'll host uh, Lotaria for family, friends, and so library staff. Fun. Yes, we've had so much fun with this. We always get a great turnout. That's a bingo. It is a bingo, bingo. bingo. You know, I did, uh, one of the things that I did pick up um, around Christmas last year was a cocoa Lotaria set. Oh, it is awesome. It nice. is absolutely awesome. So, again, that's a, a family event. We just ask that children ages 10 and younger be accompanied by an adult. But, again, mm -hmm. another family-friendly event that you can enjoy. Then on Saturday the 22nd at 1 p.m., they will have a Dia de los Muertos doll craft going on. So there's just all kinds of things happening at the Welton Library. That now, sounds like something I might have to travel to Welton it, it for. It does sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> for this one, hot glue guns will be used for, so it's designed for those yes. age 10 and older. That's right, yes, just, just to be safe. But all yes, right. lots of family-friendly fun going on at Welton. All right, next up we have a, an event going on on Thursday the 13th. Yes, this is happening at our Summerton <laughs> Library at 3.30 p.m. Again, uh, sticking with the Hispanic Heritage Month theme. Mm -hmm. They have a Zarape craft going on. So they're inviting um, children of all ages to come and decorate their own Zarape. And they'll have materials available on a first-come, first-served basis. Uh, sometimes we get a big response for crafts at our Summerton <laughs> Library. We have to say, oh, sorry. So, so we do have to put that out there. The first-come, first-served. Um, um, explain what is a rape is it is a would you call it it's a like a shawl like a, like a yeah kind of like a yeah it goes over your head and it you know covers the front and the back a lot of people will use them to cover their arms and, and keep warm during the winter time yes yes and they're beautiful there's all kinds of colors and definitely I'm, I'm sure they'll there'll be some terrific designs coming up right. and then last but not least our fifth annual 
Hispanic Heritage Month art exhibition is kicking off tomorrow at the San Luis Library. This year, the theme is Art Without Borders, and that is kicking off at 4 o'clock at the San Luis Library. We invite everybody to attend a grand opening ceremony, enjoy some light refreshments, and walk around and enjoy all the, the wonderful art. We have had, uh, I think, a record-breaking number of entries this really? year. Yes, people not only agreed to bring their artwork, but they're bringing four and five pieces, really? so it should be a... A wonderful exhibition. I, I hope mm. somebody Facebook lives or, or at least documents it with a lot of pictures so we can go to the Facebook page and see all of the different. If we're not able to make it out there, yes. you know, I still think that we should be able to see it. Yes, <laughs> and it's definitely. out there for a month. But yes, you know, it we is. want to encourage people to definitely check that out. And it's all it's mixed media. It's all types of art. That's right. There's paintings. There's sculptures. There's drawings. Um, I, I was able to attend last year, and it's phenomenal. The 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 local Local talent is just it'll blow your mind it absolutely will mm -hmm. well that will be up until October 13th mm -hmm. again this is the origins art without borders exhibit their fifth annual exhibit yes. we were talking with Allison from Arizona Western College oh wonderful. yesterday mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what day it is <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my week yes. is a little off the, about the about the collaboration there yes the San Luis satellite campus and the San Luis library have been uh, collaborating on this all right. Well, it is the Yuma County Library District, and we reminded people last week, too, that you have multiple options as far as e-resources available. We had a holiday week last week, so mm -hmm. people were not able to get into the library on Monday, but it's another great opportunity of how you have access to all those resources 24-7 with a library card and a computer. Yes, you are right. We've got ebooks, e audiobooks, streaming movies and music, and all it takes is a library card. And this is library card sign up month, yes, correct? Yes, it is. So it is <laughs> the perfect time to either get a library card, um, update your library card, and take advantage of all those resources. And we love it when you come to visit us, but like Jennifer said, uh, if it's a holiday or a day we're not open, there are still so many things you can do through the website. And how often do you have to update the cards because I swear I have to do it twice a year. I know that's not really the case, but it seems like it. It's annually. Okay. It's annually. And what we're doing is just verifying that we have your correct uh, address. If you'd like to add a um, uh, cell phone number so you get text notification about hold or when items are due, you can add that. Um, so that that's all we're doing is just verifying your information. So it's kind of like an anniversary. There you go. Just look at it that way, Jen. <laughs> Celebrate it, okay? Yes. I wasn't complaining so much. I was just mm. curious. <laughs> oh, sure. Kind of sounded like it. Nature about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's the Yuma County Library, and the website again is? Yes. Visit us at yumalibrary.org. And Yuma residents get those library cards at no charge, but if you are a winter visitor or someone else spending a shorter amount of time in our community, there will be a nominal fee. Yes. We do offer non-resident cards for five dollars a month some That's people are excited that they have to pay though I, I've talked in there I'm glad they have to pay for those services oh. we're, we're <laughs> we just want to encourage everyone to take advantage of the opportunities to have access to all the great stuff that we do through Absolutely. our library. But even but even the ones that do have to pay, you know, the five dollars, that's a great it's worth, deal it's for worth all it. of the resources that the library has. So definitely get um, your library card, get signed up if you don't already have one. All right, and while we do our little uh, pre selfie commercials, would you like to sign our grateful banner? I would love to. Please go ahead and we sign are up. we are in full fall swing here. I love it. <laughs> yes. And we are so grateful for you and all the wonderful information you bring to us and our audience every week. Well, yes. thank you. I am grateful for the the opportunity to and share that information. I have to show it again because Chrissy says, put that ugly thing away. Chrissy, this is the most adorable pumpkin <laughs> ever. My sister crocheted she a pumpkin for us last year. The pumpkin. And she sent it to me in November, I think, and it was past the the fall decor season. But I said, I will definitely get it. And I, I pulled it out this year. I love it. It's so there cute. you go. It's not ugly. It's, it's, it's not. seasonal. And we're trying to add something new to the studio every day leading up to the actual first day of fall. Exactly. It's today in Yuma. We will take our Lotus Day Spot and Salon Selfie with Sarah out in the courtyard. This show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have over 30 years of experience and knowledge. And you can trust Classic Accounting with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. Just give them a call today. The number's really easy to remember. 343 1040. 
and Sprague Sports, visit their partner location, Truckmates, Yuma's home for 3M window tinting. Protect your car's interior and keep cooler while driving around this summer. You can find Sprague's on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And if your home isn't comfortable, it might be time to call a professional. Call Quick Refrigeration. It's 782-3691. Quick Refrigeration has been heating and cooling the Yuma area since 1955. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists, they are locally owned and have been providing pest control services in the Yuma area for over 20 years. Just a reminder, they are licensed with the Arizona Game and Fish Department for Safe Humane Wildlife Relocation, and they are just putting a warning out there, it is skunk season. So if you have any problems, just give them a call today at 928-343-9149. Better yet, go like them on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. You can find them under Advocate Pest and Wildlife. Coming up next on the Today in Yuma show on Z93 and Outlaw Country, it's the Yuma County Health Department with Miriam and Rachel. We'll be back after the break. Speaking of those smelly cats, yeah. <laughs> those beautiful silky black and white. Did she go pet it? <laughs> I didn't. I saw the claws on the front. That oh, maybe not. I would I love you and it. hug you and <laughs> squeeze yeah, you. Yes. I didn't zoom in that close. Oh boy, you should see the claws. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Let's go out there. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Smile. My, my nose looks cool. so red. There you go. <laughs> All right, good luck getting out. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I take a ride Thank and go around. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Ready to go? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Sorry about the construction. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> did you guys didn't have trouble, did you? Oh, Go ahead and slide all the way around. We have. Have a seat right there. Thank you so much. I want to sneak around you. How much time? Uh, two minutes. How are you? How are you? Drop it one degree and close the door. Okay. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it a degree. Drop it like it's what, Janice? Drop it like it's what? <laughs> 25 cents? 25 cents? <laughs> <laughs> and we have Benito here from the health department. He's our yes. FD of the... Yes. What's your name? I'm sorry, how do you spell Benito it? Benito Lopez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's our FD of the epidemiologist. Yes. Awesome. Wow. We brought the big guns. <laughs> you almost, medical disease investigator. You almost yeah. needed a longer card for the team. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we have no areas of standing water here at our location. No. <laughs> we'll be happy to hear about that. <laughs> yes. Our fountain's broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we finally just let it drain because it was, it, the pump on it kept going out and during the monsoon season, all the leaves and everything just kept mm -hmm. getting clogged, so we just let, it, let the Is, water go out. I don't know how to say your name. Maria, M-I-R-E-A. Hola, Benito. <laughs> that's, that's the right. <laughs> how do you say it? Miriam. 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 Oh, it says not say M-I-R-E-Y-A. No, well, this is someone else they commented on Facebook Live. Oh, so, oh, oh Mira. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, which I was like trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm Miriam, though. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, that, wow, if you're pronouncing Miriam with that spelling, I'm way off. I'm like, there's no second M in that. <laughs> I know my Spanish isn't the best. <laughs> we usually try to not butcher the name. So we <laughs> We try. It's never a problem. <laughs> Morning, Lydia. Morning, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, my guy, my Guyanas, says good luck, guys. Yes. <laughs> and Mark says good morning, ladies. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and pull the yeah, microphone pull the closer to Benito on over here, and you guys, you guys can will share, share with okay. okay. or, or you can share with Benito, whichever you're more comfortable with. <laughs> That's here. Get it. Whoops. I'll pull the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, when you, when you speak, you, you want to be right. right in front of it, okay? Everyone loves your hair flowers today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, we ready? Here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country. You can also catch us on monstermediayuma.com if you'd like to stream the show 
or you can watch us on Facebook Live, either on my personal page or on the station page. That's right. All right, up in the studio now, it is time to talk flu season. It seems like it's too early to be the case, but no, nope, that's not right. Definitely, definitely not too early with the kiddos going back to school and our allergy season is here and that can usually turn into something as well. Our guests in the studio with this, we have Miriam and Rachel. Now they appeared on City News Thursday last week, so we asked them to come back and share the information with our audience. Mm -hmm. And this week we also have Benito Lopez, the epidemiologist with the Communicable Disease Investigations Team from the Yuma County Public Health Services District. We're going to talk about those flu bugs. Well, good morning. Thank good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, when people traditionally think of flu season, they, they often think of colder weather, but that's not always true. Well, yes, uh, that usually that is not necessarily true, especially since uh, 2009 that we had the H1N1. Uh, we established by CDC directives, we established uh, uh, summer surveillance for the flu. So we check for influenza diseases or influenza-like illness all over the, I mean, the, the full year. Okay. You know, from uh, uh, January through December, now, every year. Now, one of the things, Benito, that kind of confuses people is year to year, they may share the name of a different strain that's out there that they are, the, vac the vaccine will treat for. Or prevent what happened is this uh, there is a worldwide there is 70 labs that collect uh, specimens on the flu people being diagnosed with I mean on the flu virus circulating and based on that they prepare the vaccine for the next flu season let's say at this time of the year we are uh, the southern hemisphere is, so, is finishing you know their uh, winter so uh, now we have the winter. So what uh, the World Health Organization and CDC does collect the most prevalent viruses, meaning the most circulating viruses, and then they prepare the vaccine. So the vaccine for this time of the year for us in the Northern Hemisphere is ready. So it is based on the most circulating viruses and then the more aggressive, so then we have a better protection. That's the reason the vaccine takes about six months to be, you know, produced and okay. all those things, to be ready for the season. The, the vaccine for the season is ready and available. All right, and the vaccines are available at the Yuma County Health Department. Yes, they are. All right, how, what, what recommends, well, what do you recommend as far as maybe ages or the individuals who are probably more susceptible to needing those? Okay, so um, the, recommenda the recommendation is to um, actually receive the flu vaccine before flu season starts. Flu season starts in the first week of October, okay? And so it takes about two weeks for your body to develop the immune response after you receive your vaccine, so. Now's the time. Absolutely, and Miriam will talk further about what's available at the health department as far as you know individuals coming in to receive the vaccine but um, so the recommendation is to get the flu vaccine before the season um, it is recommended for individuals from six months of age up until you know older older, older. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and especially for um, the elderly and for children under the age of five um, you know, it is especially recommended for them because their immune systems may not be, you know, as, um, strong. as strong. strong, absolutely. And for other individuals that might fall in between who may have a compromised immune system. Absolutely. Anybody that has asthma, diabetes, any type of um, any other underlying condition, you know, if they do get the flu, it may actually, um, you know, lead to a hospitalization and that's what, you know, we're trying to hopefully prevent. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Well, I've seen not necessarily a mad rush, but more of a common grouping of people that might work with children. Yes. And those who work in the medical field who are around people who may be sick on a frequent basis, that they are definitely getting their flu shots. Absolutely. They're at the health department. You know, every employee um, is offered the, the flu shot. And we um, highly recommend it, you know, um, for individuals who have a concern about the flu shot, you can ask your, talk to your provider about it. But one of the things that we really want to emphasize is that it's important to protect your loved ones. A lot of people say, you know, I, I don't usually get the flu, it doesn't matter to me. 
but if they have elderly or immune compromised people in their family or people that they come into contact with or even babies that mm -hmm. are not up to six months of age and cannot receive their flu shot um, if you get the flu and let's say your immune system is strong you may not develop you know may not be uh, such a detrimental thing for you it may just be a minor inconvenience of some symptoms but if you pass it on to somebody who is immune compromised or somebody that you know has underlying conditions then the situation may be different for them and so protect yourself but also protect the people around you is what our message is so what are some of the myths and 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 things out there that you'd like to like kind of put out there a lot of people well i don't get the flu shot just because it's going to make me sick we hear you know, that, those type of yes. things we hear that a lot actually that's probably the thing that we hear the most mm -hmm. is that you know i got the flu shot and and i got the flu well, actually, you know, in the in the actual shot, there is no live virus in there, so it can't cause illness. What it'll cause is an immune response. That's your body's way of, you know, developing some protection. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the protection that the that the shot is supposed to give you. Those are some of the things that we hear. Um, at least that's what I've heard the most is that I got sick. I had never gotten the flu until I got the flu shot. Yeah. Well, if it's the actual shot, it's it's inactive, and so it's not going to actually give you the flu. What could have been happening is that maybe you had already been exposed, and at the time, you know, and it, it, it the was symptoms weren't showing yet. Yeah. We do expect, you know, um, we, and we tell people this when we do give them the flu shot, we also provide them with VIS statements, which actually provide information on the vaccine that they're receiving and some of the possible, um, you know, reactions um, that they may have. Well, you know, we do expect some people may develop a little bit of a fever, sometimes body aches, you know, and so that is, but that is very different from actually having the actual and flu. Mm -hmm. Most of our vaccines, that's the reaction with most of the vaccines that you get, not just the flu. Well, what types yeah. of clinics are available at the health department for those who do want to go down and make sure that they and their family members receive the vaccine this year? We have uh, clinics Monday through Thursday from 8 to 11.30 and from 1 to 4. Uh, anybody, walk-ins, you know, anybody's welcome. And we take most uh, private insurances, including Medicare and Access. All right. And I know some people have, Teresa mentioned the myth about, well, it's going to give me the flu. How painful is the actual shot, the after effect? Because some things, tetanus shots can be provide a little discomfort for a day or yes. so afterwards. Mm -hmm. What about the flu vaccination? I already received mine. I just when the medicine was going in. <laughs> do, do you have Do you have the option of the nasal spray too for the shot? We're not carrying the nasal vaccine okay. this year. Okay. But is that an option at other places for those who might not like needles? It's available it this be. year. Uh, okay. It wasn't the past two years. It wasn't available this year. It is available. We don't. We're not carrying it at the moment. Okay. Is there a, a difference in the effectiveness, Benito, between the nasal and the vaccination, the actual shot? As far as uh, as far as the information giving, uh, no. Okay. No. It, there's uh, the same the efficacy, and, uh, and and of course, is how we do respond to the vaccine. Right. That is the immune response. Some people, you know, may have better immune system and they respond, you know, better response and other people have, you know, different immune right. systems. So, well, I know yeah. there are just seriously some people that are deathly afraid of needles. And yes. that's why they would yes. put off receiving the vaccination because if it wasn't in their eyes 100% necessary, mm -hmm. if you're hospitalized or your physician is recommending something and possibly life-saving at that moment, the flu vaccination could end up being life-saving later on if you were really susceptible to those symptoms. Did you have something to and add? The, the nasal vaccine is, I mean, the nasal is not recommended for everybody. It's only for two to 49 years old okay. and all healthy mm -hmm. individuals only. Okay. okay, if someone is coming down at the different times that you did mention for the clinics, is there any paperwork they need to bring? Uh, just their ID and their insurance card. Okay. All right. And did they get in and out pretty quickly? Have we had really long lines? Not too bad. Okay. Not yet. I, I, I know <laughs> That's why they're encouraging you to get in yes. now. <laughs> when, when our busier fall and winter season kicks in, we do see a bit more of an influx for those yes. individuals, mm -hmm. making sure that they do have the, the flu shot. 
And uh, another thing we do want to mention, it happens every year because we receive information from the hospital. They generally have visitor restrictions in place. And unless you are a patient or the parent of a patient, uh, no one under the age of 18 is allowed in the patient waiting areas just because it can be so severe. Mm -hmm. They don't want you bringing in germs or tracking out germs if it can be prevented at all. And some people, I, I'll post the information annually and you get the ones that start, they get a little irritated. It's well, for your protection. It, it is. <laughs> it, it's in the best interest of all of those. Yeah. Now, Genevieve says, hi, Mom, Paxton and I are watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's on Facebook Live. Oh. Hi. Hi, Pax. <laughs> hi, Jim. All right. Uh, the, flu, the flu vaccines, now, they are, they're being administered at the Yuma County Health Department. Is that, is your only location on Avenue B for the vaccines? We do have an outline clinic uh, in San Luis, Arizona, every first and third Wednesday of the month. All right, perfect. All right, and Maria says, very informative information. Thank you, YCHDS, for all you do for the community. You're all great. Prevention is the key, so get your flu shots. I did. Hi. And thank you, Maria. <laughs> Dare I say this now? I've never had a flu shot. <gasps> No, did you hear the <laughs> gas? <laughs> Maybe we should do a field trip and get field Let's flu go. shots this year. I'm, I'm ready. Well, we're not getting any younger. No, we're not. Uh, accor <laughs> according to documents, you're technically middle aged this year. Oh, we know I'm older, so. so. Oh <laughs> well, we'd be happy. I was to. beyond that, okay, Jen? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, maybe we should definitely plan that and get yes, our flu shot. Yes, definitely. We want to thank you so much. If people have any questions, who can they reach out and contact at the health department? Actually, they can um, contact uh, Benito Lopez. He is our epidemiologist. He's like a, a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is our lead communicable disease person, and he has the most information, but um, if he's not available, then they can ask for anybody in the communicable disease team. We have nurses. And what number should they call for that? 928-317-4540. Perfect. All right. Well, we want to thank you all so much yes. for coming in. I will get my flu shot this year. Yes. Yeah, I'll know. give it to you. <laughs> we're we're going to go down as a field trip and just get it done. Yeah. <laughs> we should. Well, do, even though there's HIPAA laws out there, um, could she Facebook Live me getting my flu shot? Um, do some, do some, re do some research yes. on that. I don't know. You'll have to get we'll back to, to us on that. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Benito? Well, just thank you for the opportunity and, and, you know, let the people like Rachel mentioned that the best time to have your flu shot, to so you get your flu shot, is right now. Right All now. right. Before Absolutely. the season start. You know, the seasons are the first week of October, so we don't want to see people, you know, getting complications because of the flu. That's right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Our guests today, Miriam and Rachel and Benito from the Yuma County Public Health Services District. It's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon selfie out in the courtyard. We'll be back with Adriana Del Rio from Sunset Community Health Center after the break. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. Dave and his crew have over 30 years of experience and knowledge. And you can trust Classic Accounting with your business payroll and monthly bookkeeping needs. And just a reminder, just a little over a month, if you file that extension, your taxes are going to be due. So yes, pay they attention are. to that. <laughs> Call 343-1040 and Dave and his crew can help you out today. And Sprague Sports, they are your Dove Hunting Headquarters. And they are the one of the largest distributors of ammunition in Yuma. Get your Federal, Remington, and Winchester. They also specialize in ammo for bird control related purposes for agriculture. You can find Sprague's on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And just like getting a flu shot is preventive maintenance for your body, changing out your air filters and your air conditioning system on a regular basis is also a great preventive measure. Mm -hmm. So you can swap those out and on Fridays you can take your old dirty air filter into quick refrigeration. They will swap it out and give you a brand new standard one inch air filter for free. Their location is 190 West 10th Street. That's quick refrigeration. And Yuma's best advocate pest and wildlife specialist. Got termites? Never accept a positive termite report without proper evidence. An honest company with integrity would encourage a second opinion and proudly stand by their word. Honesty and integrity in everything they do guaranteed. That's advocate pest and wildlife specialist. It's today in Yuma. We'll be back after the break on Z93, Outlaw Country, and Facebook Live. Thank you. Oh, your toes. Thank you for having us. Nice. Cool. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. here. And you're going to come in for your. They'll call me from another area. To come <laughs> to you. Okay. I'm not usually in that area, we but I'd be happy. We don't follow up stories. <laughs> we don't often do follow up stories. Come We're going to make her. We'll make her. I'm not afraid of people. I've had a child.
Good morning. Went in. Well, that worked well because he was the specialist and he could give all the info of how the chains were made and now you can tell what you're going to do. I know, that is so funny because we're, I'm going to be um, promoting the flu. Campaign. No, that's fine. No, I told him you were. And she said that would be smart because he could tell all the background. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Jen's coming in from that way. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> She oh, said, that's so funny, because we're going to be talking about wellness on wheels. I know, that's why I'm like, it's just, it's, but did you see my, did you hear my, sweat, my segue? Yeah. Because <laughs> now. Really cool because, you know, they explained it super good. Yeah. Well, that's what and I thought, like, the too. medical part of it. Yep. Know? And now you can talk about how you can go to the mobile clinics. I know. Well, you and your, because you still give them at the location. There's lots of dates available. So. Yeah. How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. Did you get yeah. your flu shot? Oh, no worries. Yes. <laughs> no worries. I got it the day before yesterday. Oh. <laughs> the day before yesterday. I was wondering who that was. Mm -hmm. That little water thing. Oh, out there? Yeah. You were like, did they just... Her water? Oh, yeah, it's hers. She's like, how nice. Oh, Look, they gave you. me such a nice little thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we have to... We're mandatory, we have to get our flu shot. Oh. Unless we have, like, a medical reason. And then we have That's to That's what I thought. I stuff. think the hospital bags just... Make all their staff yeah there. that's what we have to do well with, with the field that you guys are in i mean yeah 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 it's smart to do yeah we're really excited i know teachers are they're definitely getting theirs too yeah because yeah, you're yeah, in you a higher be. risk yeah and you've already started to see the kids that are even though school hasn't been in session very long many have already missed school days because we have yeah. the, the slight transition in weather From, changes yeah. a lot you get those kind of late summer colds mm -hmm. yeah, my, one of my, my baby with like a runny nose. How old's the baby now? She's one and a half. Oh my goodness. <gasps> See, last week it was my baby, 16. But she's like, <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, she's around older kids, so she thinks she's older than yeah. one and a half. And, and that makes them more fearless sometimes too. Well, the big what? kids are doing that. I've had mm -hmm. all these complaints <laughs> from the daycare. <laughs> He's like a little boy. Oh no. <laughs> like, they grow out of it. Yeah, they but she, they're the youngest. Mine was too. They're yeah. the youngest and they have to defend themselves. My other yeah. kids my other kids have been really nice and I haven't had any problems, but this girl she's feisty. Like, <laughs> she fights she like, she like scratches people and she tells everybody. Be nice. Oh, because that's what she's telling her. her. Everybody tells that's her to tell her. <laughs> she hears it from everybody else, so now she tells everybody. She goes and scratches and she's like, See, so now you can go nice. back and play the Facebook Live for her later. <laughs> Save a recording. <laughs> You've been shamed. <laughs> she doesn't care. Be nice. She, has, she would look at the oh video and say, God. Be nice. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are keeping on, keeping on with the flu talk this morning because we have Adriana Del Rio here from Sunset Community Health Center to talk about the Wellness on Wheels flu campaign. Hi, how are you guys? Good, Good morning to everyone. And how nice of this, um, you know, as a follow-up to the previous segment, yeah. I was listening to it and it was super informative. It was uh, so well, you know, explained. And, you know, I was just thinking, you know, I didn't know that, that they were going to be talking about that in the other segment, it, it, so that was it's nice. A good, it's a good lead for you. Yes, <laughs> yes. The one thing that I did notice is, you know, of course, um, you know, it was recommended to take the flu shot, you know, before um, the flu season starts. But we just receive our flu vaccinations, and then usually we need to wait until we have everything on stock so that way we can plan ahead because you never know what happens. Yeah. So um, uh, we are going to be having our Wellness on Wheels flu campaign during the month of October. Um, you know, and it's it's something that we try and offer to the community for free every year just because, um, you know, like it was um, spoken about in the previous segment, the importance of it, you know, for our children, mm -hmm. for our elderly. Um, so we are very excited that we are able to offer this uh, one more year, um, you know, and hopefully for the future years to come. Okay. All right. Now I see on here that you have it, that the vaccinations are available for adults and then children three and older. 
Yes, so we, because we do offer the, the vaccination out of our clinics, we do bring our mobile units out to the community and we park them in different locations. Um, some of them are here, the Yuma YMCA in San Luis Arizona, we park it in a Plaza Riedel and Yuma again in the Immaculate Conception Church. So because we have limited staff, um, we do have nurses um, during those days on site that are um, giving out the, the shots. We um, limit the ages to, you know, three, the kids have to be three and older. Okay. But if they do come to the, our clinic, you know, we are, we are able to offer them, you know, for younger children. And I think some of the challenges with that, at least if they're three and older, they can listen to directions a little bit better. Yes. They deal with toddlers frequently, yes. and that's when you can negotiate with them. It makes, well, it doesn't always make things easier, no, but, not but the communication <laughs> process is a little simpler. Right, yeah, and then also, you know, by this age, you know, Morris parents, you know, I'm not saying that, that you already know if they're going to be allergic to something or, you know, something may trigger something in the future. By, by, by usually by three, you already know their health um, yeah. issues or concerns. So you already are aware of, you know, um, other medical history. Um, and you can, you know, for the most part, say whether they're mostly healthy or if they have certain aller allergies and, and you know, may trigger something. So that's why we, we we offer for children three and older, but if they do come to a clinic, like I said, they, we are more than happy to offer that flu shot for everyone. Um, there is no appointment needed, which is awesome, you yes. know. Um, and in the past years, we've had a really good response where people start showing up, you know, um, before the event. If we are set up, we will be offering the, the flu shot before. They don't have to wait in line or anything. Um, and in addition to that, you know, just like in our other health fairs and community events that we offer during the years, we are going to be offering free health screenings again for the parents and for anybody that's able to join us. But we are really excited because we added one new event this year. Well, actually, two new events this year which is the one that's going to be in Welton um, you know in the past um, people usually just go to our Welton clinic but now we are able to uh, to take our mobile unit and, and offer those shots over there and then we're also going to be working with our farm workers in San Luis Arizona so we're going to be there early before they go to work um, and we're going to be offering that as well so we have a, a lot of um, dates during the month of October, October, starting October 2nd, all the way to October 30th. This is just where we take our mobile units, it's going to be um, off the clinic, but again, you guys can come or call our clinics and, and get that, you know, taken care of at one of our sites. And we see October 2nd, you will be at the YMCA, like you mentioned, at 32nd Street. October 4th, you will be at Plaza Bridell in San Luis. October 11th at Immaculate Conception Church, located right down the road here at 505 South Avenue B. October 16th, that's the Sunset Welton Clinic. October 18th, we'll be at the Summerton Community Center in the gym. October 25th, down at Yuma Palms. And again, October 30th is the farm worker job site that will be taking place in the back parking lot of Food City in San Luis, and that's an early morning one from seven to nine. Yes. Now, Adriani, if they would like to see a complete listing of this with all the times and the addresses, where can they find that? They can definitely visit our website, which is sunsetcommunityhealthcenter.org, or they can um, visit our social media accounts. You know, we already have everything yeah. posted. Um, give us a call at 928-373-5717. Um, and you know, take advantage of this, you know, it is free for the community. When they do come to the clinic, um, we do, you know, accept most insurances, but for these particular flu shots that we are giving out, they are free, so they don't have yeah, to bring any of that them. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. I know a lot of times when you go get your flu shot, a lot of times your uh, insurance will cover it, but what if you don't have insurance or do you need to take your insurance card to any of these you don't even have to worry about it you're going to get the yeah vaccine. when uh, for this uh, particular flu campaign we don't require any type of payment any type of medical insurance um which is great Fantastic. it's awesome yeah. you know every year um you know the, the reason why we were able to add to more events is because this year we got more free flu shots that, that were allocated to our department that we are able to give out for free um you know if you guys notice for the Welton event it is going to be in our parking lot 
um, which is, you know, in the same location, but just because of uh, we're offering in our mobile unit, you guys don't have to pay for it, which is awesome. That really yeah, streamlines mm -hmm. everything. It's when you start doing the paperwork, that's when it, everything slows yeah, down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the only thing is, you know, of course, for kids, if they do want to get it noted on their um, immunization card, if parents want to bring that, that's good, um, you know, because sometimes in school they, they require it or whatever, you know, so you can, you guys can just bring your, your immunization cards and we'll make sure to, to note that that day. It's great information. And, and like Adriana said, you know, we did have the people in from the health department here earlier and said, now's the time to get it. Get it while it's early. But you know what? If you don't have the time to get it, it's better late than never. It, get yourself vaccinated. Get And you, you have plenty of chances through Sunset Community Health Center through the whole month of October. And again, for free, you can't beat that. There's no excuses after right. that. <laughs> right. and, and let's, we want to start educating people early too. We say this every year and repeat it. And we fear that we start to sound like broken record towards the end of the season. But if you're experiencing flu-like symptoms, please stay home from mm -hmm. work or school. Some people might not have any alternative. They may need some of the products to assist with their care so they're out shopping if they don't have family that can pick that up for them but please try and stay home rest is very important but again you don't want to risk getting anyone else sick especially the kids we see you know we mentioned it we see it when school starts kids start bringing home the germs and they start getting they start getting sick the kids spread it to other kids at school that they take it home they spread it to their family so it can spread really really fast through our, our children definitely and um you know in the previous segment you guys were also talking about the precautions that the hospital takes which i think it's awesome personally one year i was really upset because i was pregnant in the hospital i think and that's when we mostly my get kids, upset yeah. yes and my kids weren't able to meet like the baby but i'm like you know what i understand it's for their yes. safety so we need to understand and think about the overall the big goal, picture. right? The big exactly. picture of why this is this measure is being taken, even though sometimes you know, um, you know, you you might not agree with it, but understand why why it's getting done. So we ask the same thing for our patients, you know, when they do call in for an appointment. Um, you know, to mention, you know, maybe, or I have been exposed, and then we have an alternative entrance for those patients for Good. their appointment. Do you guys have the option of the nasal? You know what? Um, I was when you when you were asking, asking yeah. when you were asking, I was like, you know what? I do only because I know I have a child and uh -huh. like PCs and needle freaks. Yes. So. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I was I was gonna say that because um, I do take my kids to obviously Santa Community Health Center, and um, they have offered it to my children in the past. I'm not sure about this. Well, year, so we'll, I don't want to we'll say something. We'll double check yes. and then we'll get back to you. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah. definitely. You can find out it. and let us know. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. But, I'll make sure to get that information to you guys. But yeah, we have offered especially for the babies yeah, yeah. Right. which but, is much easier <laughs> yeah. and, and I agree I think the number one complaint that we see when I share the information about the hospital restrictions people have babies coming and they have older siblings that they want to be able to come right into the hospital and meet them shortly thereafter yeah. and again I think that's the number one concern oh, that I hear yeah, year definitely. to year but <laughs> what we know it's in everyone's best interest exactly all right yes. that's Sunset Community Health Center if you have any questions just give them a call at 373-5715 or again you can follow them on social media Janice is getting a shot of the flyer there if you would like to see a visual of all those details all right it's time to take our lotus day spa and salon selfie with adriana out the courtyard thank you so much for coming in today thank you ladies you guys have a wonderful week you, you too. too all right we will be back after the break on z93 outlaw country monster media yuma.com and facebook live we're going to be talking about that orion spacecraft parachute test that happened this, this morning. morning all right we'll be back we're here Good at YPG. YPG. At YPG, it was the last one that it was going to take. They got to go see it um, Monday. They got to go yep. see it Monday and sign it. And we're now <laughs> And then I got to touch them. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> 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 Hello. Everybody tells me that I'm such a baby because I'm like, wait, 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 wait. They're like, what do you want to say? Here, but it's fine now. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> You're all, all right, ready? Smile. You don't like needles? No, I don't. Me either. You know, when I go in the room, I just block everything, and I'm like, where do I just sit? Just do it. Just do it. And I don't see anything. <laughs> like, they're drying, like, blood. I try. I just look at the ceiling, and I'm like, 
doing anything yeah. else. To I need I a sticker a and a lollipop <laughs> to do it. <laughs> a I sticker and a lollipop Bye. and a popsicle. You could even call and then put it on our Facebook Live if it's a yes or no. I will. Bye. Yeah, I had to test blood one time when my stepdad got an accident. We all had to test for blood donation. And I was like, I need a sticker and a lollipop, please. <laughs> Because it's good that you can just go to the mobile places and not have to plan ahead and take off, you know? The, I think the latest update, my phone did weird stuff because I can't attach several photos um, all at one so time. So, did you have an update yesterday? I think it was the last couple days. I had an update yesterday. Kevin had an update yesterday, and he said that it made his camera act weird because he was trying to take pictures of the job he was working on yesterday, and he said his camera wasn't working. I haven't had any issues, so I don't, I don't see any issues. So normally, but I did you can it just yesterday. Click, you know, click any image you want and do multiple attachments. I have to go back into the photos, and one at a time. Oh, goodness. that's if I want to email them to myself. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Did you try going in through the gallery and then picking mm -hmm. all the ones you yeah, want and then sending? It's not working either way. So oh, goodness. I can message multiple to you on Facebook. Well, that's, if you want to do that, then you can just get them off. It's fine. I'll ignore the message. <laughs> that's what I tell my husband. I'm she so, does that all the time. I'm She'll send me a picture. message. She goes, just ignore it. I'm disregard. sending pictures. <laughs> it's not Friday yet, Lydia. Lydia thinks we should be fed every day. I know. I, don't I like the way that. she thinks. Hello. I like the way she thinks. All right, you ready? I have a real job, too. <laughs> Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. We've had lots of flu talk this morning. How about some birthdays now? I'm ready for birthdays. All right. These are brought to you courtesy of Firehouse Subs and the Firehouse Public Safety Foundation, saving lives through donation grants. Since the foundation started, they've granted over $35 million to provide equipment, training, and support for our hometown heroes. You know, recently I just seen that they were able, through those grants and donations, they were able to uh, provide some more equipment to our folks at the uh, fire department with like an all-terrain vehicle. Mm -hmm. So that way, if they need to uh, provide emergency assistance, like let's say, you know, at the sand dunes or um, at any of our, our desert area, they're able to get in there very quickly. All right. Well, we have several birthdays on our list today who will be entered into this week's drawing for a free medium sub, chips drink, and a dessert from Firehouse Subs. If you would like to have a birthday mentioned, can be your own, you can go to MonsterMediaYuma.com, click on the Today in Yuma tab, and you will see the Firehouse Celebrate logo there. Mm -hmm. Just fill out that quick entry form. That's right. First one on our list is a very special birthday shout out I'd like to give to the beautiful Stella Watts. We want to wish you a very happy birthday. And also another one, I can't believe this girl is growing up so fast. She's a senior in high school this year. I remember when she was just a little baby. Well, not baby, she was a, a kid. I didn't know her when she was an actual baby, but she was probably Eli's age when I first met her. Anissa Gill, we want to wish you a very happy birthday as well. Also celebrating today, Eric Capitello and Nita Campbell. Congratulations and happy birthday to all of you. You guys are entered to win a free medium sub, chips, drink, and a dessert from Firehouse Subs. If you have a birthday shout out you'd like to give, all you need to do is go to MonsterMediaYuma.com, click on the Today in Yuma tab, find that Firehouse Subs uh, logo with the Celebrate banner, fill out that little entry form, it goes straight to my inbox, and please give us 24 hours notice. Unless it's on the weekend, please make sure to get them in by Friday morning, that way we can get them on our list. That's right, and just a reminder, we are giving away three different family passes to the Shrine Circus on Tuesday at the fairgrounds. All you need to do to enter that contest is text the keyword circus, no emojis, no signatures, just the keyword circus mm -hmm. no to 928 3430993 by noon. We will be selecting three winners and each is good for two adults and three children. Yes, and we also have another giveaway um, through the text line. All you need to do is text the keyword 
Firehouse, F-I-R-E-H-O-U-S-E, to that number again is 928-340-993, and you will be entered to win a large uh, platter, sub platter, that feeds about 10. You get 10 cookies, 10 chips, and a gallon of either tea or lemonade, and that's an $80 value, all for just texting the keyword Firehouse. All right, lots of things going on today. We have the Yuma Police Department tip a cop event that is taking place to benefit Special Olympics. Special Olympics that will be at Chili's today, and a portion of the proceeds will go again to Special Olympics. The wait staff is donating 100% of their tips oh, also for this event today. So that's Great. from uh, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. at the Chili's. All right, and then another event, we've been talking about this for about a week now. Yes. A local gentleman is going to be included on the TV show Forged in Fire, and it's on the History Channel today. Mm -hmm. Set those DVRs, and I'm not sure of the specific times. My husband set ours, and we have cable, but I didn't look at the channel or the time. So, what did you know the network that it's on? History Channel. History Channel. That's the easiest way to find it when you're, depending on what network you're on. One of the, the, another awesome thing that happened today um, was the final test for the Orion parachutes. That's right. It occurred out at YPG this morning, and they got a little bit of a later start. Teresa was originally wanting to drive out there with her son, but the, it, the viewpoint was almost to courtside. Um, if you if you know anything about YPG, their area out there is really, really large, and they, they do go quite a ways out, so that way they can drop it, and there is some debris that comes with the drop, so they want to make sure that everybody's in the clear. Yeah, so the, the viewing area was is pretty far out there, so um, I wasn't able to get out there and, and make it, and, and, and since and they it, pushed it back, I would have yeah, never made it It back started a little later anyway, and the parachutes did deploy properly from, yes. from what we were able to see. The problem <laughs> is, with both their Facebook Live View and the NASA.gov slash Orion link, they were airing the same footage on both. Uh, something happened in one of the slides changed that switched it over to an upcoming presentation at a high school later today. Yes. So we, we had the audio yes. and we, we saw the, the, the red and white open. parachutes deploy, but we didn't actually see the landing of the craft. And I understand it, it did land safely, which makes it easier for retrieval and yes. then future use. However, a lot of people on that Facebook live feed were upset because the, they were, they're like, you had one job, NASA. <laughs> you can put a man on the moon, but you can't yeah. keep video on the on right, the the right feed. Live feed. Well, you know, you did, yeah, we were able to see the, the parachutes open up, and it was really neat to see because this is something that Jennifer and I actually got to go see on Monday. Um, and so when we kind of knew the process of what the way things were going to happen um, but to actually see it come through and happen because they have had failures in the past um, that's why they do the testing and many tests many tests definitely many tests um, but it was it was considered a, a success and they were the testing wasn't done when it landed they have to go and actually retrieve um, the capsule the test capsule itself and retrieve all of the um, actual parachutes to go through and make sure that there's no rips and tears that was caused by the actual opening um, there is going to be some wear and tear because they are landing in the desert and again this was just the parachute portion because it's obviously not the actual Orion capsule exactly it's a test capsule and they were also testing the heat shield um, that is um, covering the the parachutes when it actually will do the re-entry in 2020 so they were they had a, quite a few different tests so they're going to go back and they're going to start analyzing all of that data um, but as far as we know everything looked like it was a success and um, we will be able to see those parachutes in use in 2020 when um, Orion comes back to earth happy anniversary to Amber and Bill Thornton today it's their ninth anniversary oh, happy anniversary sorry uh, we didn't have that on our list earlier <laughs> and Skyler says he's had to recover those shoots when they first started years ago in midsummer he said it was not fun I bet not <laughs> uh, and, and they're large they're pretty large yeah, all right a few national days today that I think are worthy of note. <coughs> right. It's National Report Medicare Fraud Day. That okay. is a big one because that just ends up falling back on the rest of us to put that bill. And the 10% of all Medicare funds are lost due to fraud. And because the government spends $650 billion a year on Medicare, $65 billion, billion a year is lost to fraud. Oh if goodness. you suspect Medicare fraud, you can go to the website, reportmedicarefraudday.com and share some of that information. And it's National Video Game Day. Um, oh. uh, probably one I won't be celebrating. Trent will be <laughs> celebrating. Yes, but will someone in your house? No. 
Oh. It's the weekday. Oh, he only gets to play on the weekends? That's right. All right. It, Schoolwork is more important. It is a privilege, not a right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. National Chocolate Milkshake Day. I can do that one. You can do that one? I can do that one. And National Day of Encouragement. That should be every day. Mm. It, it should be. It should be. be not day. always the case, but let's make <laughs> sure we encourage people today. Definitely. Well, I'm going to encourage you to enter all of those contests we have going on. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> that was encouraging. She's talking, she's talking to Janice, Janice by the way. That was encouraging. She's encouraging. She's being encouraging, okay? Oh, okay, cool. I'm encouraging you to enter, go to, uh, enter all of those contests we have going on. Again, all you need to do is text the keyword circus or the keyword firehouse, or you can do both. And all you need to do is text circus to 928-343-0993 or firehouse to 928-343-0993 and there's another giveaway on our monstermediayuma.com we have a giveaway on Janice's Foodylicious page she will be drawing a winner of a $25 gift certificate to downtown 251 Twisted Kitchen on Friday morning so get your entries in for that and Anita since she's not here today she's under the weather we will be drawing that probably tomorrow hopefully tomorrow hopefully tomorrow announcing. that is a $20 gift certificate to Bare Naked SoCo just go to her WTF tab I'm going to go ahead and head on out and visit the contractors working near our parking lot and I'm going to offer them words of encouragement. Yeah, yeah, let's give so. them some encouragement. <laughs> no, it's nice encouragement, positive I encouragement. I didn't say it was going to be negative <laughs> at all. It's today and you might get your flu shots. We will see everyone tomorrow between 9 and 10. You can listen weekdays on Z93 and Outlaw Country plus Facebook Live. KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. Bye ladies. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. Amber's down with those last two. <laughs>